Editing can be a pain sometimes, especially if you're making videos every day. So I thought I'd go through some of the things that I do in editing programs right away, specifically Premiere Pro, which is what we use for editing all of our videos. Another thing that can be a pain during the Easter holiday time or any kind of holiday time is finding a secluded place to film where you won't be bothered, which is that's what I've done right now. Um, you, you want to find a quiet place where there's not a lot of people talking, where you won't disturb anyone or you won't feel disturbed. Uh, and then you can get stuff done. So without further ado, let's go into ScreenFlow and, and, and get it going. And again, I'm just showing you some of my quick tips and tricks that I, that I do immediately in Premiere and some other things that make it more efficient for me when I'm editing. I've established my in and out points here in, this, in the uh, source monitor, so then I'm just gonna drag both audio and video in here. Finally, it builds um, up the courage. To see, I like my my sound levels my for my main um, audio to peak around negative three, negative six, so it's a little too quiet. So the first thing that I always do right away right away is I edit clip and audition because then it's gonna transfer it over, over to Adobe Audition and it'll dynamically link it so any changes I make there will reflect here which is helpful. See it's kinda of quiet so I'll make sure I hover, select all, then I'll bump it up like five or six. So you, maybe you're probably okay good but I wanna make sure that it's not peaking. So amplitude and compression, hard limiter, um, maximum amplitude, negative 0 0.5, apply. Good, save it, boom. Then I go back to Premiere, it'll update. Stop being a wallflower and you're ready to join the party. See, good. Now, if I actually cut some of this clip up, like if let's say I wanna edit a bit out, option delete, all of the audio is still gonna be the same. So imagine if you had cut up this clip several, several times, then you'd have to edit the audio um, track of each individual clip which would be really tedious and I've done that plenty of times you can do it that way it just takes a lot longer and if you're doing videos every day or several a week it's gonna take a lot longer and you'll get more frustrated so start doing that as soon as I find music that I'm using and I bring it in obviously the music's gonna be a little loud right away and I'll just take it down to maximum like negative 19 or something like that and that's usually, a, you end up with a pretty good mix, so if you start playing it and go to audio up here, audio clip mixer, notice that it's peaking at around negative 19, the music, and then the vo vocal track is negative 0.5 max, um, hovering in negative 6 to negative 3 decibel range. That's what you want, that's a good mix. I usually always do that, and then again, if you cut it up, it's going to stay the same audio-wise. The other thing I like to do um, right away with the video, let's say I didn't chop it up yet, click on the video track, go to effects, I like to do some color correction. Um, some of my favorites are adjust levels and lumetri color. And now you can go and use like DaVinci Resolve and a lot of these other things, other plugins. Um, I don't have that, um, I usually get a good color mix with, with these two choices. Then if you go to your effects panel, you can start to tweak things and change the color, maybe it's a little too red or a little too yellow, you can make it more more blue and then I go to Lumetri Color and maybe I tweak the exposure if it's too dim, adjust the contrast to my liking. Um, if for some reason you're not really in focus, you can change the sharpness a little bit, you can make it a little bit more sharp, usually you don't want to go more than 15 to 20 otherwise it starts to look really defined and kind of fake looking. So let's say I had multiple clips and I had already done some um, video effects, adjusted some stuff here, but then whoops, I forgot to do it for this one. Oh, uh, notice the difference there? That doesn't look right. So another quick thing you can do is click on the, the video track, Command C on a Mac, probably Control C on a PC. That'll copy the different attributes and then click on the other new clip, right click, paste attributes and then you can choose the things that you want to apply so in this case just the the levels and the Lumetri color then you hit OK and notice and now it matches the other one that's a really quick thing I used to go and individually match each clip just tweaking the numbers in here which was kind of a pain in the ass so now I don't do that anymore and that's really helped me um, speed up my editing process and then another thing just reviewing the clips if you're watching it in real time that takes a while if you hit the L key it speeds it up and it's fast enough where I can still listen to what I'm saying and hear the music and see if there's anything I want to cut but I can watch it, I can review it faster so that, thus making my edit process overall faster. So that's what we do 
um, in, in editing. I'd be happy to, to hear more about how you guys make your editing process faster. Um, let us know in the comments what you usually do and we'd be happy to answer any questions if we know the answer. Chances are I might not. My short term memory seems to be um, getting worse after the baby is born.